Before I talk about the last big modification to the QR algorithm, I first want to talk about the idea of householder reflectors. We studied these back last semester, but it's been a while, so it's worth remembering how they work. The basic idea is we start with two vectors, x and w, that have the same Euclidean norm. Let's say we've got a vector x up here like this, and a vector w, maybe like that. We want to find a matrix that reflects x onto w. Now, we did a bunch of proofs with this when we first introduced the idea. I'm not going to redo those proofs. But let's talk about it a little bit geometrically. I mean, visually, it's easy to see that what we want to do is reflect across that sort of bisecting line there. But how do we set that up? Well, the first thing is to notice that if I go and draw a vector like that, that's going to be the vector w minus x. And because of the way this thing is, if I were to project x onto that w minus x vector, which we'll actually go ahead and call this thing v for simplicity, I'm not going to get this full thing, but I am going to get a vector like this. Now, two things about it. One, it's only half the length. And the other thing is, is that it's kind of pointing the wrong direction. But we can fix both of those things. We can then basically say if we take the x vector minus twice that projection of x onto v, that's going to give us then w. So the question is, what kind of a matrix would do this? Well, certainly to get x, we can just multiply x by the identity matrix. That's no big deal. And so what we need to remember is how to create a matrix that projects something onto vector v. Again, I'm not going to go through all the proofs we did to show that this works, but it turns out to be a fairly simple little thing. We find that v vector, we find that w minus x, and that projection matrix, what projects us onto the matrix, onto the vector v, is v times v transpose over v transpose v. Notice that v v transpose is an n by n matrix, whereas v transpose v is just a scalar. And then to do that, x minus twice the projection, the matrix that will do that is the identity minus 2p. So, the whole way we used this before was to kind of rotate columns of a matrix to get them into an upper triangular form. We're going to use it similarly, but a slight little modification to it, which we'll talk about in the next videos.